Now, if you're a data scientist, then at some point you will encounter some sensitive information like passwords, API keys, or database configurations that you have to use in a script, like the example over here. Now, you definitely want to keep these secrets and configurations out of your version control. And you can do this by storing these variables in a special file. Let's take a look at the Python package that we can use to automatically load these variables. Okay, so the first step is to move these variables to a special file. And that file is the .n file that you see over here. Here. So when you're in a new project, you can just create a new file and just call it .env. I already have a file and here you can see an example that is commented out, but besides that it's empty. Now the next step is to take the variables that you want to keep out of your version control and copy them into the .env file as you can see right here. Now let's save this file over here. And then the next step is we're going to remove them from the Python file. And now we're going to use the python.env package to load these variables from the environment file. So let's open up a new terminal. Make sure that you're in the correct environment and run pip install python.env. And then we can import it alongside with the OS library. So we'll start off by import OS. And then we're going to import two methods from the .env library. And these are the find.env and load.env methods. Let's close the terminal again and run these import statements in an interactive Python session by selecting the lines and pressing shift enter in Visual Studio Code. Now the next step is to specify the path of the .env file that we've just created. And the .env library has a convenient function to find this file by walking backwards in the directory until it encounters the .env file. So we can specify the .env path and then call the find.env function. And now if we run this and then print out the path, and you can see that it has found the .env file even though it's two folders higher within the directory. So currently we're in the environment variables.py file, which is located within the data folder, within the source folder, and the .env file is all the way over here. So what the find.env function does is walk up through these folders over here until it encounters this file. Now the next step is to load up the entries as environment variables. And we do this by using the load.env function and then giving the path as an input parameter. And if we run this, we see that we get true as an output, which means that it has found environment variables to load. Now the last step is to store these environment variables within a Python variable so we can use them within our script. So let's first load our API key and we do this by first specifying a new Python variable API key and then we call os.getenv and then in quotes we insert the name of the environment variable. So in this case it's the same, it's API key. So you just use the variable that you've defined over here. And now if we run this, we will load the API key within the Python variable called API key. And now if we print this, we can see that we have successfully imported our API key from the .env file. Now we can do the same for the password. So we'll just copy this line, then select the API key, make another selection with command D and then type in password. And we'll run this line over here. And as you can see, there is our very secret password. Now the last and also crucial step is to put the .env file in your git ignore. So it will be excluded from your version control. And you do this by opening up the git ignore file. Now, if you don't already have one, you create a new file, call it .git ignore. I already have one. And this is a default git ignore file that I use for most of my projects. So there's already a lot in here. But as you can see, there is also an exclusion for the .env file. So this is how you do it. You create a git ignore file and just put in .env, that's it. And then let's have a look at our version control. So here you can see that we've made changes to the environment variables.py. Now let's commit these changes and push them to GitHub to check out the results. So I'll do commit and then we'll sync the changes. All right, so it's done. And now if I go to the GitHub repository for this project and reload the page, you can see that we've made a new commit 34 seconds ago. And if we go into the source data, there is our environment variables.py file. And as you can see, we load the environment variables over here, but there is no trace of the actual API key and the password. If you go back to the root folder, you can see that there is no .env file and it is over here in the Visual Studio Code project. But since we've included it in the git ignore file, it won't push it to the version control. And now I can use this repository and even set it to public without having to worry about my credentials getting stolen. So just a neat little trick that I think every data scientist should know. And that also concludes this feature. Video. Now, if you like videos like this and want to learn more about working with data, then subscribe to the channel and check out this video where I will share 17 VS Code tips specifically for data science.